Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Simplify's tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to look at fishbone cause and effect analysis and we're going to use one example to explain all the concepts all the way through. Now problems are unavoidable in business. We all know that it's important to resolve problems in a timely manner and it's also important to figure out the source of any problem so that we can weed the problem out from its root and prevent it from occurring and wasting our time again. And this is what a cause and effect analysis helps us to do. It's also called the fishbone diagram. It's also called Ishikawa diagram, herringbone diagram or Fishikawa diagram. It's essentially a tool which helps us visualize all the potential causes of a problem and helps us narrow down to the to the root causes. Okay. And as you can see, a, a fishbone diagram structure looks like the uh, the skeletal structure of a fish and that's why it's called so okay now let's look at the steps in creating a fishbone diagram step one is to identify the specific problem obviously if you don't know the pro the specific problem at hand you you won't be able to solve it so correctly identifying the problem is key to getting to its root now let's look at an example to get all of this clarified for you now, in our example, the sales of a small company selling products online have fallen in the last quarter. Okay, so that's the problem they're facing, but this is a broad problem. They need to get it a lot more specific to start creating a fishbone diagram. The management understands that there are three sales channels the company relies on. Direct website purchases, phone sales and sales through channels like Amazon and eBay, okay? Now, some internal brainstorming by the management has revealed that phone sales have actually reduced drastically. Further investigation of historic records then indicate that phone sales have actually dropped by 20%. So this becomes the specific problem to be addressed and we shall use the fishbone diagram to actually address this problem. So what we do is we put the actual problem on a block on the right hand side and get a line coming off it. Yeah, we are putting the skeletal structure of the fishbone diagram together. Now step two is to work out the problem areas or the categories of the causes. Yeah, here we find out the factors that directly influence the problem or process most. Uh, and these are categories of the causes. These are not the actual causes because we are not there yet. Yeah, so in a complex business environment, one will need to use tools like the McKinsey 7S framework to identify possible categories. Yeah, but in simpler situ situations or in smaller organizations, simpler problems, brainstorming with people involved in running the process will help identifying uh, these cause categories. However complex the process is or however, however large the organization is, it is recommended to limit yourself to less than 10 categories. We got to keep it simple, otherwise it gets too overly complicated. Okay, in our example, in our simple example, the causes have been identified by the management as people, telephone prompts and technology. So these are the actual cause categories. So what we do is we actually map these in the skeletal structure that we have uh, started putting together. So we've got a main stem and then we've got branches with people, telephone prompts and technology. So what actually happens here? So the next step is to identify the actual causes. So here we go deeper and produce the actual factors that affect each cause category. Yeah. Now again, brainstorming with relevant people is the most widely accepted method to identify the actual causes. Now, there is also a possibility of sub causes, which will affect the, the actual causes. And these can branch out of the actual causes. Yeah, you will see all of this in the example that we are using. So the first cost category is people. And the causes are that the new salesperson is not closing deals. And the next cause is that the salespeople are struggling to follow up. Okay. And there is a sub cause relating to this cause. And the sub cause is that the leads are currently documented on a simple spreadsheet instead of a lead management system. So that is a concern. Now, the next category is telephone prompts. And the causes here are repetitive and not easy to navigate. The prompts are not efficient enough. 
and the prompts seem to have an unpleasant voice. So it's not a voice that's welcoming for the customers. Yeah. Now the next cause category is technology. And here the, the causes are website not displaying phone numbers on each page and the site not being mobile friendly. Now what we do is we map the causes and the sub cause that we've identified onto the skeletal structure and this actually completes the, uh, the, the creation of the fishbone diagram here. But what do we actually do with the diagram? That is very important. So we go on to step four, which is analysis and action planning. So at this stage, you already have a visual representation of all the causes, right? Uh, what you don't have, however, are the solutions to ensuring that the problems get corrected. And this can be achieved by action planning, okay? So you can create an action plan which looks like the simple action plan that we have created here, which would have uh, problems, uh, who needs to do what so these are the actual these are the actual areas that you can address in the action plan and having simple titles like problems who needs to do what by when and measurement will be sufficient now let's put our example into the action plan and see what we come up with so the problem which is uh, the first cause under the category people is that the new salesperson isn't closing deals and who would need to do what there? So the the salesperson would need to meet with uh, the sales director to, to explore possible training options. And then by when? We have the 21st of February plotted as a deadline. And then how is this going to be measured? This is going to be measured using the conversion report that is to be produced on the 20th of June. So you see, this is how you can actually put an action plan together. And we are able to create this action plan because we have identified all of the causes using the fishbone diagram that we created. Yeah. And the second cause is that the leads are documented on a spreadsheet. So which is quite simplistic, not efficient enough. Now the IT manager needs to explore sales management softwares with client follow up features. So that would ensure that uh, the sales people are actually reminded that they've got customers to follow up, etc., and make the process uh, a lot more efficient. And we've got a deadline and we've got a review meeting in March to actually ensure that this task is being has been completed. Now, the next cause is uh, that the, the telephone prompt is quite repetitive and not easy to navigate. And the action uh, the action point here is that the director or one of the directors would review the structure and then there is a deadline and again a review meeting to understand if this has been done now the telephone prompt is unpleasant now we got to brainstorm and actually review this cost because this is obviously the management thinking that uh, the the prompts are not good enough in terms of the voice as well but it needs to be further brainstormed and reviewed and then obviously once that's done uh, a follow-up email will be sent to uh, to ensure that everybody's on the same page now the next cause is that the website is not displaying phone numbers on each page now in this case the marketing associate would actually review the website uh, quite urgently with the website agency and obviously yeah the deadline here is quite urgent because as a, as a online business, it's quite important that the telephone number is clearly listed on each page of the website. Okay. And now this would obviously being a con an urgent task require urgent completion in a couple of days. Now the site not being mobile friendly is, uh, is a bit of a project. It would need time. So the marketing associate would uh, need to discuss with the website agency and then follow up later. And then there's been a deadline provided for the initial discussion. And then this would be reviewed in the uh, in the meeting. OK, so there you go. The action plan, an action plan was put into place and the company would hopefully get down to the bottom of the problem and ensure that it doesn't happen again. Yeah. Now let's look at how an actual fishbone diagram is drawn. Uh, in terms of drawing the actual tools, uh, you can use a variety of, uh, of uh, tools like, you know, you can use Smart Draw or even basic applications like Word or PowerPoint. So it doesn't really matter. You don't have to get something really complicated because the actual diagram 
is is simple enough and and the main part of the process is to to actually to actually brainstorm and get to the causes that's the main aspect drawing is is secondary and even a simple sketch on pen and paper will actually do the job as well as any complicated software that you get uh, to draw the tool okay so I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you were able to understand what the, fish, the fishbone diagram is and how it can be used. I thank you very much for your attendance as always. And as always, as always, please like this video. Uh, please support this, this content. You've been really supportive. I really love all my subscribers and I encourage you to get more subscribers. And I encourage you to, to recommend topics as always in the comment section. Okay? So uh, take care of yourself and keep loving yourself. Bye-bye.